welcome back so in this video we will go ahead and create our automation test for login and logout and also for some other scenarios around authentication so we will first create a test for a user being able to log in so what that means is when user visits the login page and he enters the email address and also the password and press the login button he should be able to go to the admin companies page and he should see some text in this page so that we are confirmed that this page is working fine so let's just go ahead and before that i'll just remove this example test we don't it was just for the demo we don't need it anymore so i'll just delete that and we will generate a new dusk test by executing the command php artisan dusk make and the test name so for the authentication i'll just name my test to authentication test so this will generate a new test class we will open it so this is the new test class along with the default test method i'll update it to say it asserts that user can log in and also i will annotate this class with the test method why this is that when we do this we actually tell dusk that this is a test method without this dusk won't be able to recognize your test or another way to do that is by prefixing a test to the test method but we will stick to having the comment on the top so we will start writing the test what that means is what we need to do is i'll just go back to the login page so when user visits the login page we assert that we see some text on there next up we start typing into the email field so the name of this field is email so i will supply that I'll just zoom it to show you better. So the name of this field is email. The type method accepts the name of the input field and the second parameter is what actually you want to provide as an input. So here the email is admin at the admin.com. Next up in the password field, I want to put password. Next I want to press the login button and once the login button is pressed i want to make sure that the user is redirected to admin company's page so how we can do that is assert path is admin companies once user is on the admin company's page we will just assert some text on this page to make sure that the page is working fine so we'll see assert c companies list one more thing that we can do is utilize a laravel authentication method that is assert authenticated so what this means is this makes sure that there is a valid authentication session into the application and we are not just visiting this page without logging in there exist a valid authentication session in the application so we will just try to run this test so in the previous video how we ran the test was by running the php artisan dust command but what if you want to run a single test method or a single test class same as php unit you can just filter out the text by putting the filter argument so when you say php artisan dusk 
provide the filter argument and the name of the method that you are trying to execute so we'll just put this and it's running the test in the background and it passes so we are now able to make sure that user is able to log in with the help of a authentication test by default laravel dusk uses a headless version of chrome headless version of chrome is similar to chrome but it has no ui so you cannot actually see what's going on when you're run running the test headless version of chrome works magnificently well when you're trying to run a lot of tests and it speeds up your test a lot faster but what if you want to actually see what's going on in the browser while you're developing the test or if you want to debug some issue so that can be done very easily so there is this is a class dusk test case which every laravel dusk class extends so we will just open this class and you see there is a driver method in here basically here we invoke the driver and we along with that we pass some default options for the driver for how it to behave for how for how it should function in here you see that we are passing an argument headless that means we want a chrome but in a headless mode and if we just comment it out and run our test again you should be able to see the test actually running in the browser so we are running the test you see that a browser pops up and it says chrome is being controlled by an automated software we log in and assert the text and it logs back out so the same thing and but with the browser running so you see that with the headless mode it ran the test in 6.76 second and with the browser actually fired in it come it took a second more and when you are running a lot of tests and a lot of complex operations this adds up and it takes more time and if you are running your test in some box or for some continuous integration you don't actually need to see what's going on in the browser so for that for those cases headless mode works fine and if you are developing if you want to actually see how the browser how your application is behaving while you are writing the test you can opt to comment this out so for now we will just stick to having the headless mode back on and we can switch it off whenever we want so we will go ahead and write our second test and that should be we uh, have now confirmed that user can log in next text we will confirm that user can log out so we will copy the same method and we will rename the text name to be it asserts that user can log out so to log out we actually have to log in and then we press the log out link here and we can then assert that the user is back on the login page and he is not logged in so to to test the login we actually have to log in do all these steps and then we can say that click link log out and instead of assert authenticated we now need to assert that there is no valid authentication session that means we need to assert that the user accessing the application is a guest user so this is a method provided by dusk to make this assertion easier so now we will run this test So the test is running in the headless mode and uh, it passes so we have now been able to assert that the user can log in and log out let's just try to refactor this code you see that there's a lot of repetition in here we are doing the exact same steps to log in in here as well and going ahead there will be a lot of features in your application which we can test only after logging in 
and we don't want to repeat this thing again and again so what we can do is we can utilize a method called as login as which basically is a special method provided by dusk to actually log in the user without interacting with the login page so how that works is we'll just remove all of this code we will go to login as method and this method accepts argument it can be a user object it can be an email address or it can also be the primary key of your user table so for now we will stick to the email so when i say login as admin at the admin.com it visits a special url and logs this user in in the application once the user is logged in i want to visit the admin page and click the logout link and assert that the user is logged out so the same test but a lot shorter and we will try to run this test again and it passes so this is a special method to deal with authentication provided by laravel same as login there is a method called logout so when you want to log out of the application without interacting with a ui element you can log out so how this works is we have already tested that the login works fine the login ui login works fine for the next for my any next test where the login is required i don't actually need to interact with the ui elements i can just log in into the application using this method so here we covered that in this video we covered that a user can log in and log out with the help of automation test and we can run this test again and again so to run both the test i'll just run the php artisan does command and this should run both the test and both of them works fine in the next video we will cover the negative aspect of authentication what that means is when a user tries to log in with an invalid credential he comes back to the he is redirected back to the login page and we also show this error message to the user so we will try to automate this in our next tutorial that's it for now